Hi everyone. So I've enrolled for iPad OS 14 beta and I was trying to find uh, some things on YouTube but I couldn't find everything in a single video. So I'll try to explain as much as possible. Let me just show you how to sign up for the beta. So all you need to do is uh, go to beta.apple.com. Uh, you need to sign up but I am already a member so I'm going to do a sign in. It'll ask me the email id show i'll show in my face on ipad os you need to click on enroll your ipad all you have to do is just go here and download this profile so when you're going to download this profile you have to go to setting and you will be able to see the setting option here to apply that profile and after that all you have to do is go to journal and go to software update and you will be able to see your update here after that you will come to the home page and you will see the screenshot i have so i have taken a screenshot so it will be something like this that your re uh, widgets are refreshed and uh, now go back to the home screen so you will see the home uh, widgets will look like this so i have already set up this one thing I really like about those widgets, now you can tap anywhere and it's going to come into the widget mode and if you tap it again, it will go out. So it wasn't there before. So uh, there are not a lot of things that are changed in iPadOS. Uh, there are more changes in iOS because we already have good widgets here in iPadOS. Uh, but I'll still explain what are the changes uh, but before that the main reason I downloaded this iPad OS because now in YouTube you'll be able to see the 4k content so if I go to my video I saw this bug every time you turn on any sort of video on YouTube it'll be a black screen so if you have to go back and it'll start working again so it's not a big deal but it is so now you can see, you can see 2160p. So you can see. And in Netflix, you will be able to see the content on uh, 2K now. So if you want to check that, you can just go and search for test pattern. This is a service from uh, Netflix itself. So you go in season one and you can check there's a video for multi-purpose chart so when you play this you'll be able to see the resolution your screen is showing right now but in prime video you'll be able to see just full hd for now now let's talk about the widgets because this is the biggest change you're going to see on ipad os so if you see there are still some bugs here but i really like the way when you tap on the screen and just go on the widget section but other than that uh, you can do the normal way you will see the edit section here so you'll be in the edit mode now you can add plus this button and you can see the new widget section so you have some basics up there but you can add a lot of them from here and every widget have three sizes so if you click on smart stack you'll see the smaller one the bigger one and much bigger one so if i click on this i can drag it somewhere like this and put it here and done so you'll be able to see uh, the stack one so the iTunes has changed its color as well. So this is the stack one. You can also rearrange it if you want. You go there and edit the stack and you can just rearrange that. There are some bugs. So let's suppose I try to click on the stock application. It somehow crashes automatically. Right now it's working, but it's crashed, right? So if I click on it again, it's going to crash but if i open the stock app and open some other stock it's going to work but for this stock for some reason it's going to crash and there's another problem if i do the scroll down to the widget section this will go blank if i do it again like this it'll come up so there are some weird bugs so if the widgets are less on the screen so let me just remove some like this you also have the news widget which is very useful and uh, you have to customize external widgets if you want so i just have three external application which uses that so you can do that as well uh, if i remove these widgets when i do this 
the edit button is you can see it but it's very finicky you won't be able to press it and sometime it just go away and if you put it up like now it'll be able to work but sometime after edit it's stuck here and you won't be able to do it so yes these are the most of the changes i don't think there are a lot of changes in widgets and um, there are still some bugs but i think you can live with them if you want to try the ipad beta 3 i it's working really fine for me the battery life is okay and they also have new uh, privacy system so for some apps if you open them i think i mostly open every one of them so what it does is basically um, if you open an app so it's try to ask for permission oh the Amazon music also crashed for some reason. That's another bug I just find, found out. So let's open Docs. Docs is not asking for permission. So some apps ask for a local permission so you can just deny them and it still works. So that's it for iPadOS uh, Beta 14. If you have any question, please ask me in the comment box. My name is Rohit. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.